Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, if you're into fishing, you know that the fall time is the time for the striped bass to make their migration from the north down south on the east coast over here. And um, this video, I just want to show you some of the, the, the gear that I use for striped bass. Um, so I'll go through some of the, the lures that I use and uh, the reels and rod and reels <laughs> and uh, the different stuff. So, um, see how it goes here. All right, so my, my main reel that I use here is my Spin Fisher 6. Uh, it has 40 pound braid on it. Uh, this, is, this is my go-to one. And then my backup, which I have on my secondary rod, is the Fierce 4, same thing. But it's a, it's a little bit, it's not as sturdy, but it still gets the job done. Um, so then these reels up here, I pair with the rods. I'll show you in a second. So we've got these, these rods here. They're the same length. They're seven, six, uh, medium heavy. Uh, this one here is the latest one that I built. Uh, I only used it once so far. Uh, this one here I've used quite a few times. Um, it's got the foam instead of the, the cork. So there's that. Uh, these work very well most of the time uh, just different sizes mostly greens and whites is the tails that i use or tailless and here we have the big 10 ounce spoon which you use when when you're in deep water all right so then when the big adult bunkers are coming through these these big bad boys six inch shads they work out pretty good uh, so here you see i got a a four ounce big head on there. Find it somewhere. And last couple of years, this has been my go to right here. So, this is a six inch skinny shed. See, it's gotten, gotten beat, beat up pretty good. Um, this used to be the go to, but I don't use these as much because uh, they tend to go for the bigger baits recently. Not sure why. All right, so this is my my other box. This is mainly top water. So we have the spook, which is awesome. You notice I took off that one there, makes it for easier. And then my the barbs I mashed down. And then when the big adult bunkers are on the top, break this out. I forget what kind it is, but it's it's huge. So it, this this one's awesome too. Uh, tried this that doesn't work very well at least not from a boat from the surf it might be awesome it's supposed to look like a bunker but i haven't had any luck on that one and of course you have the bucktails different different kinds here but they get the same thing done and then the spro bucktails these ones have done really good too especially the ones with the tail here and occasionally catching one pink so this is my go-to look so hope you learned something at least from what works um i don't know let me know i'm sure some of you guys out there go striper fishing so i'd like to hear what your thoughts are on what i use versus what you use all right uh hopefully <laughs> hopefully in, in the next couple of weeks i'll have some videos of me fishing and hopefully catching fish. So look forward to that. All right, later.